All right, my revivers. So today is day one results and sharing a little bit of my day so you can have insight of how my days go. Had a client this morning. I did not go to the gym this morning because I was flushing with the Epsom salt. So yeah, um, this kind of occupied my time. This was about 10 ish as you can see. And uh, yeah, you guys could see the after effects, but I was drinking my water in my thermos the whole time so she is done and yep just wanted to share that with you and this was the beginning of my day so let's continue as you see i just finished my client um yeah i've been drinking my water and it is down so i gotta put some more water in there i'm probably not going i'm probably gonna take um a nap and probably don't eat till about five five ish um, clean up this mess because it is one my hair thing and all that yeah clean up this mess and then yeah basically relax until five and then have a big old fruit I don't know I think I'm gonna do a smoothie and eat some fruits on the side I don't know what I'm gonna do and drink a whole bunch of water um, I was tempted earlier and I was like nope mind over matter can't eat nothing can't eat nothing until it is time for me to eat my fruit, my only fruit. My husband, y'all know we love egg salad, so I had made some, a big bowl of it and forgot about it. But, oh well, so they're going to eat it. All right, guys, so let's push through day one. and Let's see what what these results look like. Um, because this video you guys will be seeing, um, I will be weighing in. Yeah, I will be weighing in. I'll be showing you day one, and then at the end of it, it'll be me weighing in. I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's why I did that 10. So as soon as I wake up to go to the gym, I'll probably just weigh myself then and put it on the computer and have it ready. Then when I get back from the gym, edit it and release it by 10 or something like that. We'll see. All right, guys. It is 5 o'clock, and I am starving. This hunger just, like, came upon me like, oh, my gosh. So I'm going to eat some raisins. And grapes, which are the same thing, but anywho, <laughs> raisins and grapes, and a fruit cup. And I'm drinking my water, but guys, I had to put a little bit, I just couldn't do the lemon water. It was something about my taste buds. It just, ugh. So I put a little bit of um, one of those strawberry lemonade things in here. And so, and then in a little while, I'm going to make me a banana pineapple smoothie. But for right now, I'm going to re get ready to eat this. So I'm in the bed because I'm feeling like I'm struggling. I hate the raisins and the grapes. I've been sipping on this juice. Um, it don't they don't taste weird, but I don't know what I don't know. Probably still either saying it's still good till 2020, so I don't know. Um, I'm trying to wait in like two more hours. I want to make me this pineapple banana smoothie and just sip on that until I take myself to bed. I'm trying to go to bed early these days, like for real, and just get up, go to the gym, start all over, and just do it again. If I can eat this fruit, I'm like, Lord, mind over matter, like mind over matter for the, the water fast. Because just the fruit, it's like, I want everything now. My husband was like, oh, what you want? For oh, I forgot. I can't. They trying to figure out what they're going to eat. They're going to eat that DiGiorno's pan pizza. And, you know, they going back and forth about that. I was like, really, y'all? Uh, really? And he was like, oh, shoot. And so they stopped talking about it. But, yes, guys. Um, feeling some type of way, but I'm trying to push. I'm trying to push. It is a challenge. And this is only day one. I got five more days to go. <laughs> I am so tired. Like, y'all, uh, I am extremely tired. Didn't do the smoothie. It's only like, what is it, 6, 10. I am so tired. I'm about to cut this TV off and I'm about to go to sleep. Whenever I wake up, I'll do the smoothie and probably go back to sleep. Hopefully this will help me shorten these days a little shorter. Didn't work out today because I was flushing and that was not going to be a good idea. And I had a client so early in the morning today. So, as you can see, and she loved her hair. Um, yeah, so... Oh my gosh, I'm tired. It's it's a struggle. It's not really like food on the brain. It is tired and boredom too. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But I do want to go to the gym and really hit it hard tomorrow um, for day two of this part of it. Then that means I got 
But if tomorrow's day two, today is day one, tomorrow will be day two. That means I got four more days all together. I can do it. I can do it. I'm going to push. All right. Let me, let me lay down. I can't. Because I don't want to eat my food right away. Or my smoothie right away. Too close to, to bedtime. I mean, you know, too far away from bedtime. So I'm about to go to sleep and then eat it in a little bit. I'm going to make. I got some frozen pineapples and um, bananas. And it's, it is 9 o'clock basically. This will be the last thing I eat for today. And I think I'm going to put just a tad bit of milk. Well, it's a good thing it's not dairy. Um, if it'll do its thing. Why is it coming out? Lord, y'all see that? Need some more liquid or something. Wow, that chunk just went everywhere. These pineapples and bananas is hard, solid, like, wow. It's blending, y'all see it? These big chunks got to get broke up. It's a couple of them. Let me taste this. Mmm. Tastes good. Alright, so. Make sure. Alright, so let's. Oh, that's the blade. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Do I want strawberries in this? I think I do. Hold on. So I'll just put some strawberries in here. All right, so that's my little soft serve um, fruit ice cream stuff. I'm about to enjoy it, and that'll be it for the night. And uh, the end of this video will be my results for day one, my weigh-in in the morning. All right, guys, so I'm weighing in, which is actual day two. So this will be the beginning results of day two, but the results from day one. So everything I did from yesterday, I'm weighing in as soon as I wake up to see what day one results are. And I'm going to get back on the scale once more and show you. Um, it kind of holds my last weight in there, so it's basically going to show you 
once I weigh again. So this is day one result and the beginning of day two. Let's see what the next day brings for weight loss. So guys, I came up with this chart and this is every time I lose a pound, I um, mark it off. So being that today, I weigh 272.4, which is actually 20 pounds, guys, 20 pounds down. So I'm going to mark that day off. And every time I lose a pound, I'm going to um, mark it. And during these six days of this fasting, fruit fast and water fast, I'm going to put the dates that these pounds go down. Like if, if maybe if tomorrow is two more pounds or something, then I'll put the date here. Because that means from there to there, I lost two pounds. Or if it's three pounds from here to there, I, you know what I mean? So I'll know the dates that... I hit my goals. This is something I thought to see. And I can see my work. So if I see this, I'm like, wow, I lost all these pounds. Like, it makes me see the big picture. This is my um, spot I want to get to before I buy me some new shoes for the gym. But yeah, that's like my halfway, sort of halfway mark. Yep. So 92 pounds was my goal because my ultimate goal was to lose 200 pounds or like a 2000, 2000, what, 2016. But I mean, I meant 201. That's the one B. I got to fix that. Well, I know what it means. So, yep, that's my little chart. And then um, once I hit, go through a whole 10, I think it's 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, it's 9 pounds every one. I should have did 10, but oh, well. I'll just write little notes to myself. And I know that in this time here, I was doing a six-day fruit and water fast before I even hit the 18-pound mark. So, yep, just something to show you guys. Um, maybe you guys want to try doing something like that to chart your um, progress. And that way you can see it as well.